We are now ready to reassemble the window frame and complete the installation of the rubber channel. For these steps, you will need masking tape, soap and water solution, power screw gun with the positive drive bit, needle nose pliers, scissors or snips, and the wooden disc. First, using a piece of masking tape, secure the window lock in the open position. This makes for a much easier reassembly of the window frame. The spring-loaded tab should now sit well below the edge of the glass. Next, replace the rubber seal around the perimeter of the fixed window glass. Be sure to stop just before the center pillar or draft rail. Now, set the sliding window glass back into the plastic runner in the bottom section of the window frame. Using the soap and water solution, lubricate the rubber seal around the perimeter of the fixed window glass. Be sure to coat the entire seal. Starting at the back of the window, Reassemble the upper and lower frame sections while pushing the upper frame section onto the lubricated rubber seal. Align both the fixed window glass and the sliding window glass into the respective channels in the upper frame while simultaneously lining up the connection between the upper and lower frame sections at the front of the window. This can be somewhat tricky, and it may be helpful to have an extra set of hands to assist you. Be sure to leave the slack of the rubber extrusion hanging out of the upper frame. Press firmly around the upper frame section to be sure the fixed window glass is properly seated in place. Replace the five screws that were removed earlier on in the dismantling process. Be sure not to over tighten the screw on the top of the window that connects to the draft rail as this will bend the frame and clamp down on the glass, making the window virtually impossible to move. Finish installing the rubber extrusion into the lower corner of the window frame so that it meets up with the plastic runner in the lower frame section. Using the scissors or snips, cut off the excess extrusion so that you get the best fit. Trim off only a little bit at a time to be sure you have enough extrusion left after it is properly installed into the corner. You may need to test this a couple of times to get the right fit, but it makes for a much cleaner install. Work the extrusion deep into the corner channel with the tip of the needle nose pliers. Roll the wooden disc back and forth through the corner of the channel while simultaneously applying firm downward pressure. As a final check, drag the disc from the top corner through the bottom corner to make sure there is enough clearance for the window to close. Reinstall the long channel cover at the front of the window. It starts at the draft rail in the middle of the window and runs just past the upper corner of the frame. Now, replace the short channel cover at the rear of the window. Lastly, test the functionality of the window before returning it to the vehicle. The window will continue to slide easier and easier as time goes on as the flocking on the interior surface compresses. If you wish to speed up this process, you may spray silicone spray lubricant onto the interior surface of the rubber channel.